great job, John. Especially your patience. I know, I think you and I are working on that together, why they mitigated the time for you. So great job on that, very good. Um, so this was project two, so I just wanted to cover what your objectives were on this. I think a couple of us were working on project two. So the first objective that you were looking for was to select an appropriate outline, which allows the listeners to easily follow. The second was to make your message clear with supporting the material for the opening and the closing. And really in this feature, working on your opening and your closing, um, or excuse me, the opening and conclusion with the body, which is you want to have three main points and sub points into that. So I think you did a great job um, setting us up. I liked how you started with the question, which is good. So you kind of got a little polling. I think that's always great. And it kind of, even if you are nervous, it kind of alleviates that because you feel like you have more people coming on your side, they're engaged. And so that's, that was really good. Um, so I thought you did a really good job. I could tell that you put a lot of time in the speech. Um, getting supporting facts, I mean, really to support your body and how you're wanting to go through that. So that was really good. And some of those statistics were kind of I was like, oh, yeah, I need some sleep as well. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I think that through this speech could really help you. And I didn't have a chance to connect with you before, so I did cheat a little bit and I looked at um, Kim's notes from before. So I just want to piggyback off of that. Um, one of the things that she had mentioned, um, and I too want to just kind of hone in on, on transitions. Transitions are kind of tough. I know that I still struggle with transitions, so I think for me when I'm doing an evaluation, that's something I try to watch for because I'm like, oh, that's you know what I do as well or what people have you know previously told me about. But one thing with transitions um, is to make sure, especially when you're giving statistics, that you want to pause long enough because that information was really impactful, but it could be lost in the translation if there's not some kind of pause. But when you're moving from transitions, there's some really great phrases that you could use to kind of help you with that. So for example, according to, as a result of, for an example. And so if you kind of tee these up before you give your statistics, that will really help impact that message even more. The next point I wanted to make was the use of notes. I understand because I've given speeches where you give statistics and I don't have a very good memory, so therefore I have to have something like that. So my biggest challenge for you, or what I would try to push you to do in your next speech, is try to memorize your opening and your conclusion and just utilize your notes for your main points. Get into that and then, then you kind of move away because I don't want to say, oh, don't use them at all. Um, it'd be like, oh, but I think they're, the challenge with notes is when you're trying to project to an audience and look around, what's hard is when you look down, your voice goes down also. So you may be losing some people in the back with, especially when you're giving statistics and you're making those main points, they may not be able to catch that. So you can just try to minimize your use of notes and just kind of keep working on that, but overall you did a great job. Very good. Thank you.